everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Kayla Logan. Welcome back and today I have a really exciting video for you. It's gonna be swimwear. Yeah, so today we are doing a video sponsored by Cupshe, which is an online retailer and they have swimwear all the way up to a size 4X. And this Black Friday on purchases over $80 or $80 plus, you can get an additional 20% off. That is starting November 29th at 12 a.m. We're gonna be doing a no shame try on. You know what this means. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I get those pieces on and off. We're gonna be talking about the quality of them, how they fit, how they feel size wise, if it's fitting my body type, which I'm an 18 on the bottom, like kind of a two X in most things. So first we're gonna start off with this, this beautiful blue ruffled one. Okay, quality wise already, I'm actually surprised. So I thought coming from like an online retailer that was relatively inexpensive, it would be like a really cheap thin garment. And already right now, like it's pretty good. Like it's comparable to when I go into Aerie and grab swimsuits. But let's see how that fits. But I'm actually nicely surprised. Like way to go Cupshe. Okay, so far, not too tight to get on. Really easy, I'm not struggling. It must mean it actually is the right size. Okay, you saw that, that was super simple. Cups wise, it actually has cups inside of it. Um, I obviously wouldn't wear my bra with it, but I can't change nude in front of the camera. Um, I haven't seen any of these on yet either. I haven't tried them on. This is my first time seeing them and I'm just seeing them in this little camera viewfinder right here. Wow, whoa, I'm actually impressed with this. Look at this. How cute is this? Oh, hold on, we're having a... There we go, oh my goodness, look at this. This is actually so cute. I'm wearing the 2X, it fits amazingly. Um, it's not sheer anywhere. Whoa, it's holding, like I swear if I took off my bra, it has these cups in it so it still hold my boobs. I love the feminine detailing with the ruches. I just wanna put like a big straw hat on and some like platform sandals from Doc Martin and just walk around like this or just have like a little, a little, th what are they called? Just a little skirt on with it. Like this is the perfect California day. I love this. Okay, we are having so many fucking lighting issues. Okay. Oh my God, I love this. Like. How pretty is this? Like this is actually so pretty. Okay. Next. Okay, and do you see how easy it is to come off? Look, I'm not struggling at all which is important with me because usually by the first swimsuit, I'm like sweating and gasping and I'm like, <sighs> I can't do this anymore. Okay, so, so far impressed. Next bathing suit is a fish scale. Okay, this lighting cannot happen. So we're having some like lighting issues. I'm like trying to fix it, but I'm looking kind of blue. Anyways, the next bathing suit we're doing is the fish scales bathing suit. Again, quality wise, I'm impressed with it. It's lined, which is really, really nice. Um, it looks like it has a good construction to it. I did get the size 2X again in it. We'll see how easily this one gets on. I feel like because of the straps on it, it will be a little bit harder. Yeah, we, okay, we got a little bit more pull on it, but it's still not too bad. Okay. okay, there we go, we got her on. We got her pretty much on. Oh, trying on swimsuits is not as easy as it looks. You gotta get all of this in here, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. I feel like, okay, the padding is a bit twisted, that's okay, that's normal. What do we think of this one? It's pretty, right? This is the back of it. It's a really nice one piece. 
And I know people say that like horizontal stripes will make you look fat. No, 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 there's no fashion rules. You just wear what you want and makes you feel good. Okay, what I like about this bathing suit is the support that it's giving me because it does have the cups in it. Sorry, I'm just like sitting here, because it has the cups in it. Yeah, so I really like the support that it's giving me. It has that cross action on the back, which is really nice. It doesn't come up too high. You know how some of those bathing suits right now, the trend is to do like a really high rise in the thigh. Sometimes I'm just not feeling the most confident and that's not for me. But I mean, if I wanted to do that moment, I could pull it up and show that little, that little area there. But right now, I think this is good. I really want to be back in California, like wearing this on the beach. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of these. Like they feel really nice. They weren't too hard to get on. That's really hard to find when you're plus size. They do only go to a 4X, which I guess a 4X is better than some companies who only go to a 3X, but there's always room to be better there, obviously. But for the most part, like, okay, let's see what's next. What more you have to offer? See, there's still a little bit of a struggle to get on and off, but in comparison to a lot of other swimwear I put on, it's not that bad. I did have a hard time making this video too because like I gained a bit of weight in my stomach and I've been feeling like really self-conscious about it and I know that I'm like a body positivity advocate and yeah most of the time I do love my body about like 70% of the time but the last few days with the weather changing I'm, I'm in Canada so it's been snowing it's been really dark um, I've been really struggling with depression and weight gain so sometimes when you feel that way it's hard to get into a bathing suit but it's nice to know that these actually fit properly because this experience would have been terrible if they didn't have plus size and I had to try to squeeze into them okay let's see which ones we want to do next so the next one we're gonna do this cute little two-piece here it has a floral bottom on it a little bit of ruching on the sides here um, again I did everything in a 2x Really easy to get on, quality-wise, it's great. This is like on my leg. That's great, she's great. Oh, I like how it's like high-waisted. It's showing a little booty here, a little booty. <laughs> you gotta keep it fun, right? Um, then let's see, the back part doesn't have um, a strap or a clasp to get on, so I'm really hoping that the band fits properly on this or else this is gonna be a nightmare. I remember I already have a bra on. Okay. I wonder how they wear it on the on the video. Maybe I should look that up. Do you think they go? Yeah, this looks right, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. This makes sense because if the band's too big, you can tie up this little this little strap here. Okay. Honest to goodness, thoughts on this. I would have sized down in the top. I think I got a 2X. I would have gone a 1X and I'm a 40G. Um, also, you can't adjust these straps. So I definitely would have sized down because had I not had my bra on right now, it would have been a bit big. Would it have been the end of the world? No. Would it have been hard for me to swim in this? Yes, this probably would have came off if I was swimming. Now, from an aesthetic point of view, it's really cute. Like, it's really cute. Like, hi. Hello, I'm here. This is like very, I'm feeling Miami in this. Like, hi, where's my little visor? I wanna wear a pair of chunky running shoes with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe some neon shorts with the top. Just have like a very Miami beach moment with it. Yeah, this is super cute. Way to go. Now we have two more bathing suits. Okay, I know, I know I can't sing. Also, another way to style something like this if you're feeling a little self-conscious is throw on a long white dress, okay? Till you get to the beach and then you're good to go. Big hats always work. I would do a long bobble earring, it would be like super fun too. Um, so far though, I'm, I'm like actually impressed with the quality of it. Like I really thought this was gonna be like, a package where like it was so thin that the threads were like potentially falling apart and it wouldn't hold up in a wash cycle but 
but no, it's doing it's doing really good here. Okay, so I like I feel sexier in um, one pieces than two pieces. That that has nothing to do with um, with confidence whatsoever. Actually, I just think they look nicer on me. Okay, so we got two more. We have this olive one. Something about this and the cuts in the top and the ruching make me feel really sexy. Very Marilyn Monroe. This one again is a two X. Super easy to get on. Really, really easy to get on. I'd say it's pretty true to size. Like, I I always get worried when I order online. I'm like, is that actually gonna fit? Okay, I need to tie this up tighter, obviously. Whoa, I love this one. See, and you can tie it up or you could bring it in a little bit more if you want. Like that, okay. I feel like I need I need spare hands to do that though. The only downside with this, going around the neck like this, is um, if you have neck problems, and I do. But I mean, what I do for fashion, right? Whoa, I love this. Look at the back on it. I feel like I want to wear a pair of wedges right now. I want to be like a Grecian goddess, just walking down the beach. Like, hello, she came, she's here, she conquered. No big deal. I want to do like a really big hoop, a really big straw hat. Like just where it's almost too much, but it is too much and it's amazing. Oh my goodness, I love that. I would even do this with a black long skirt, just flowing. You could even wear this as a top with jeans. Who are you kidding? This feels really nice. I love the ruching. Um, like I said, I've been feeling a bit insecure and ruching is a way to camouflage that. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to endorse the idea of like hiding body parts and not being proud. You should be proud. I still know that there are people out there though who haven't hit that stage of like their body love journey. And this might be a great option for you. You know, like the ones who are still wearing the tankinis with the like skirts on board. You can wear this too. You're allowed to feel sexy. Um, this is great. I don't like, I don't have anything negative to say about it, to be honest. Like. And I know I'm being paid for this. So it is sponsored, I'm not trying to hide that, but like I would always be honest with my followers about how I felt, always. And like, I'm pleasantly surprised with this. Like, the way that I see it is like, would I go out and buy these pieces? And if I would say yes to that, then I know it's a good product and I would actually go out and buy these products and I would wear these in my own life, just not for like a photo shoot to make content in. So I really like that. They're really easy to get on and off, which that's not been my case with most bathing suits. Okay, we're on to the last one. This is like a very big Maryland moment. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Okay, I did hear it rip a little bit, but I don't, I don't think it actually did rip. This one's a bit harder to get on. As you can see, I'm doing the, I'm doing the waddle in. Maybe this is where I should do my like screenshot. <laughs> um, this one's a little bit harder to get my tushy in. That's okay. It's a bit tighter, which maybe is good. You want it to be like a tighter fit. Okay. And that's just gonna come right up. Okay, I can obviously do it up tighter. Hold on a second, I need to go see this in the washer. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. Oh my, I need to have like a mirror in front of me when I'm doing these so I can actually see what I look like because I've not tried any of these pieces on. I just love the shape that it gives my body. It gives it that like kind of Marilyn, that hourglass, that va 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 voom moment. Um, this would also be great with a pair of, um, oh my God, I love, like I'm just feeling really sexy, you can tell. You can tell how I started to move in it. I'm like, oh, no big deal. <laughs> I would do a pair of high-waisted jeans with this. And it just depends on your style, right? Like you can do a pair of like clean white runners if you're just walking around the beach for the day. You can do a pair of wedges if that's your jam. You can throw on a baseball cap. It is totally up to you and what you feel comfortable with. I would have tied this a bit tighter on myself. The only problem I see is that the lining is sticking out a bit from the bathing suit but that probably just means that I need to tie it tighter. 
for that. I love how it's giving me that sexiness but because it's low, but it's also got boob cups in it. A lot of these bathing suits don't, so if you're larger with a bigger chest, um, that's not an option. One thing I did notice, so I have a bra on, right? But if I didn't have a bra on, you would have to be okay with side boob. Just saying. As long as you're okay with side boob, and you, wait, I think if I pulled it up more, it would get most of the boob in there. But that's something I wanted to, uh, <laughs> something I wanna talk about. Okay, this, she's cute, right? Like, this is a keeper. Hi, darling. Hi. Perfect. And there was one more bathing suit. I remember it was supposed to be six, and it was just hiding there on my rack. Hiding there on my rack. Okay, that was not actually funny. It's got this like beautiful crisscross detailing. I feel like if there's one that's gonna be the hardest to get on, it's this. But let's see, they all had the ruching with them. <laughs> you know, sometimes you feel like when trying on bathing suits, you're just totally gonna fall over on the floor. So I hate doing it at a store. I feel like I need to like sit down and just take it nice and slow. Okay, this one isn't too bad to get on. I have tried on other ones that have the crisscrosses and they're a nightmare. Because <laughs> they're just so tight and you feel like you're getting every roll in it. Okay, here we go. I probably, I'm feeling like I could have sized down. No, I think it's okay. Oh, frig yes. Oh my God. She's arrived. She has arrived. I always just fell over while doing that. I was like trying to look sexy. I'm like, she's arrived. So one brand. Oh my goodness. Like, yes. Oh, I love this. I love how classic it looks. I love how it gives me that little bit of sex appeal in the front, but it's like not overtly slutty, even though there's nothing wrong with that. The detailing in the back. This is fun. It's got, okay, the last bathing suit didn't have as much coverage in it. This one does, it is gapping a bit on me, I will say that. Um, so I probably would have gone down to a 1X. I'm, it's feeling like I'm in between a 1X, 2X, and I'm a size 18 pant. I do have a size 40G boot, but would I still wear this to the beach? Yes. This is really cute. It doesn't have that like ruching option here, but I feel like you don't really need it either. Just super, super classic. I feel like I just want to rock this with a pair of jeans and a baseball cap. That's it. And I want to like wear this out as a t-shirt because it's like, yeah, I'm hot. I'm here. You like it? And that is it for today. Thank you for watching my cup sheet try on haul. Remember to check them out for Black Friday. If you haven't yet liked and subscribed, please do that right now. I look forward to seeing you on my next try on haul. Bye.